Richard Hammond is going to go mad with jealousy and rage when he sees this. Hello viewers, it's mail time stroke food tribe. Now, as I was explaining in the other video, the last edition of Mail Time on Drive Tribe, we know we've had quite a few food-related items sent in because our security people have had to open the parcels to check for things like bombs, viruses, dog poo and so on, but they do wrap them back up again. This explains some of the mysterious brown sticky tape that's on the parcels and that wasn't there when you send them in. I have a pile here that are apparently food related, so I'm not even going to put my glasses on yet because I may not need them. Let's begin. This is a rather beautiful package. I'll put my glasses on so I can read it. Signed for, that means it's valuable. Quite a lot of packaging, but a proper bow, is it? No, it's a fake one. No, it is a real one. No, it's a completely fake one. Scissors. Oh, jeez. Just a piece of sticky tape would do, yeah. Right, we are in, here is a letter. Dear James May, please find enclosed a high quality pink product that will last for decades with a good firm industrial tech. It's gonna be a cock, isn't it? That would make a robust sandwich to sustain you throughout the day. May I suggest you test this high value sandwich product against your highly acclaimed spam sandwiches. See label for further product details. Maybe I'm wrong. I am wrong. It's Prince's, not Princess, as I've been saying for the past few months, Spam of the Sea. Oh, I see somebody has doctored the tin. So what is it really? Fish? Codro. No, I like Codro. Codro on toast, fried in a pan, maybe with a little bit of spice or seasoning. Uh, what's the advice? Am I supposed to give it away or keep it? I suggest you test this high value sandwich product. Not in a sandwich, on toast. I will test it. That will be on Food Tribe later on. Like, subscribe, comment, blah, blah, bloody blah. Thank you very much, um, you. From Simon Smith and his amazing dancing bear, Sheffield. From Sheffield, I used to live near Sheffield. Sheffield's a very good place. It is a mug. Fragile. Flood the cowling, plenty of it. A quote from Battle of Britain with an illustration. That is a tremendous mug. I'm definitely keeping that. Let's flood the mug with my tea. Lucy can have her mug back. Thank you very much. What was his name? Simon. Simon from Sheffield. Mmm. Muck and filth everywhere, Mr. Warwick. Superb, nobody's getting that. That's mine. Drive Tribe, stationary gift. Honorable award. Where has that come from? The US. It's amazing, isn't it, to think that people in the US are watching this drivel and can actually be bothered to send me something in the post or the mail, as they would call it. Because I find it very difficult, even if I've got a fairly beefy check from someone, not that that happens very often these days, but it does occasionally, I find it difficult to make the effort to find an envelope and find a stamp to pay myself some money. So the idea of, oh dear, I've cut through the bod luxury gifts. The idea that you would go to all that trouble to send something to some bloke you've never met in another country who will quite possibly put it in the bin, Bod Luxury Gifts. Since 1905, only 100,000 customers received a cherished gift from Butel Oberst Dickman, also known as Bod Luxury Gifts. Welcome to this elite club. A picture of a woman on it in some posh earrings. Oh, God. You have been invited to eat a bag of dicks. Penis shaped. I'm wondering if in America, eat a bag of dicks is a common repost. Hey buddy, why don't you go eat a bag of dicks? Yes, why don't you? James May's mail time. This has come from somewhere in England. It's got a picture of the Queen on it. Oh, wait a minute, there's a letter inside. Just stop sticking everything together. My dear James, it says on very old school, sort of mauve bordered. 
writing paper. Is that mauve? That's mauve, isn't it? Yes. My dear Jane, not because I'm colourblind, I just can't remember what colour mauve is. Please find enclosed a one-size-fits-all fried egg costume, which you or your viewers may want to wear to a fancy dress party or other event. I had previously bought it to wear in a video entry for a competition to win an automatic cell counter for my lab. What a weird competition. But after being unsuccessful, oh dear, I'm sorry about that, I have no further use for it. What we have here in a packet is someone's unrealized ambition. That's what we're talking about here. And it is a, I shouldn't have taken that out because I'll never get it back in the packet. It's a, it's a sort of fried egg tabard. I suppose you stick that over your head. You want me to put it on, don't you? But I'm not going to, because it's silly. Would you like to dress up as a fried egg for uh, a fancy dress party or other event. If you would, and you can explain why you would, let me know and you can win this fried egg costume from Sabrina. Anyway, that will go back in the bag eventually. Thank you, Sabrina, that's very um, thoughtful. And I'm sorry you didn't win the cell counter for your lab. I can't imagine there was a lot of competition for a thing like that, but um, you must be really crap. From Jason Alexander. Inverleith, oh, Inverleith Gardens, Edinburgh. Right. God damn it, just stick it together with a bit of spit. You don't need parcel tape, it's the enemy. Glitter bomb your enemies with small penises. Well, really, that's just hilarious. There's a bag of, and eat a bag, another eat a bag of dicks. This must be an expression I don't know about. Jelly penises, does anybody want those? Glitter bomb, oh, hilarious. Why not go and set someone's house on fire for a laugh? I mean, it's about as funny. Uh, Walter Adams, Old Comfort Highway, Trenton, somewhere, a bit smudged, in America. I'm gonna go for the piece of brown tape that's been put on there by the security people. Yes, I'm right. This is Dear Mr. James May, I have enclosed some of Duplin Winery's wine jellies for their famous Muscadine Scuppernong grapes. Scuppernong? Scuppernong? Is that a type of grape? Not heard of it. Duplin Winery is the oldest winery in North Carolina. I have also included a $5 wine tasting voucher, good for any time, and a drink koozie. A drink, what's a drink koozie? A drink cozy, oh that's, yes, okay. I would have sent you a bottle of wine, but to my surprise there isn't a ton of, there is a ton of regulations on shipping bottles of alcohol, so this is the best I could do. Hope you enjoy, Walter Adams. Do you know what, Walter Adams? I think I probably will enjoy Christmas wine jelly. I should point out for the English viewers that when the Americans say jelly, they mean what we would call jam. They don't mean jelly sweets, unless they're jelly beans, in which case they do mean jelly sweets, but scuppernong wine jelly. Well, that does smell pretty tremendous, actually. That smells of sort of uh, ginger and um, what are those, what are those sort of amber colored sweets you used to get? That, that with a little bit of toenail fluff, if you know what I mean, which is a good smell in wine grapes. These are fantastic. I love these. I'm keeping these. Do I keep these or is that just cruel? I think they're meant for me, aren't they? They're meant for me. Hatteras red wine jelly. That's going to be great. We'll make some toast later on. Thank you very much. Can I leave those there? Is that, because they look rather attractive. Yeah? And that's a, that's a koozie. What does that actually do? Is that to put it around a beer tin to stop it warming up? Yes, I knew that. I was just making sure Lucy knew that. A small one. James Bay's mail time. Tra-la-la. Somewhere from England has the queen on it. Has the security tape. <laughs> Dear James May, please find... I love the colour of the ink. This has been done with a felt Tip. That's always a good sign when you get a letter in felt tip. Please find enclosed three different brands of the same chocolate bar. Can you or your Drive Tribe Stroke Food Tribe viewers taste the difference? We struggle to. We... Something you... We care, yeah. Keep up the good work. Love Vicky and Dovery Sedgivote. Sedg... Liverpool. So that is a... Titan bar, a Mars bar, and an Asda caramel chew. So they're all, so I 
The Mars bar is the original, obviously, and these are sort of own brand knockoff Mars bars. And apparently we won't be able to tell the difference. We'll do that for real. We'll keep those and we'll do a very short uh, Food Tribe video, blind tasting, Mars versus its own brand rivals. Can Lucy Brown, for example, do you eat chocolate bars? I can't remember, yes. Can Lucy Brown, because you don't eat cheese and you don't drink wine and you don't eat beans and so on. Can you tell the difference in a blind test, blind taste test? Let's find out. This has come from Germany. What in God's name is this monstrosity? Vinegar bottle. Hang on, there's some information. Dear Mr. May, I send you this aesthetically challenged little dog. Yes. <laughs> um, I hope it will find a new home in this way. We acquired it on the occasion of a game of White Elephant Gift Exchange at a birthday party. I've played this game with German people. It's excellent. So essentially you take along a gift that you don't want. It usually happens at Christmas. And then there's a system where they go around the table. It's like pass the parcel, but there's jeopardy involved because you end up with something you don't want either. But then there's a way that you can swap it with someone who has something that you do want. Anyway, I'm not explaining it very well, but it's a German game, very popular, and it's very good fun. That's how this was acquired. At a birthday party of a friend who works for a major Japanese car parts supplier. The last mentioned fact is the only car related connection I can come up with. Yours, Robert Farr. Um, I presume that in this you would put cooking oil, vinegar maybe. The Germans don't put vinegar on chips but they do put it on salad, essig. Um, it's got a butterfly on its nose. It's disgusting isn't it? It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. But you could own the aesthetically challenged little dog from Germany that was acquired in a game of Achtung Scheiße, or whatever it is they call it. Uh, please tell me why your home, tell me what sort of a home you have that would be enhanced by this aesthetically challenged German uh, oil dispensing dog, and your home shall be enhanced by it. Hong Kong. Interesting. Dear Mr. May, as an allegedly crusty mechanical engineer, I had a relaxing and very spiritual first trip to Nepal last year as a guest of some great Nepalese friends. After tasting remarkably good coffee, sitting in a mountaintop cafe inspecting the Himalayas, I later discovered what proved to be coffee cherries growing wild in the grounds of the fascinating International Mountain Museum at Pokhara after study of spent gas cartridges and crampons of various legendary mountaineers. It seems the pole has great combinations of soil altitude and humidity to produce really great coffee. Please see what you think with the attached small supply of organic beans and wholly mechanical grinding apparatus. I think it's much better than tea. Yours sincerely, Phil Healy, etc. engineering qualifications. If Mr. C still has his grosser Mercedes 600, I'm not sure if he does actually, you can wind him up that brake pads from the E-Type Jaguars fit his car and are around 20 times cheaper than the OEM Mercedes parts. He's definitely a mechanical engineer, this bloke, isn't he? 40 versus 900 quid a box. And the lining is riveted on so it doesn't fall off like the real thing. I'm not sending you any brake pads for him as he can doubtless afford to go to Rimmer Brothers himself to purchase. That's almost worth framing that. A letter from an engineer. Let's see what he's... Uh, I don't actually drink coffee as a general rule but I know people are very into it. It's this stuff. Tree to Cup Coffee Company Limited. These are bags of coffee beans. I later discovered what proved to be coffee cherries growing wild in the ground. Does he mean coffee beans? Anyway, whatever is in these bags is what he was talking about. And here is a sort of Victorian uh, hand coffee grinding tra-la. Would you like that? Do you like coffee? Do you like mechanical engineering? Would you be inspired by the thought that the Mercedes 600 Grosser's brake pads are the same as those found on the E-Type Jaguar, but 20 times the price? If you do find that sort of thing fascinating, you're a man after Phil, Phil's heart, and you can have this coffee and this coffee grinder. They can be yours, yours. Shall we clear the desk a bit? Let's put those in Lucy's hand as it reaches forwards. Thank you. Likewise, though, but they're happy with the jams? Jams, the jellies look good, and the aesthetically challenged dog. Take dog. You want to take the dog? How can you do that? Okay. Hand comes in, takes dog. Is that good? This is also is from England. It has the Queen on it. 
good knife that. I forgot the name of the person who sent it to me in the last Drive Tribe mail time episode. Tins of beer. Very old tins of beer by the looks of things. Dear Mr. May, in your last mail time video, I noticed the stash of canned Coca-Cola on the bottom right of your mail shelves. Yes, yeah, still there. Enclosed, I have sent you some of the finest vintage canned Heineken lager to add to your collection. Do with them as you wish. Jamie Smith, Clitheroe, Lancashire. Yes, Pierre, sorry to hear your application for a position with Woolworths PLC was rejected. Dear Mr. May, thank you for your recent application for a position with Woolworths PLC. What? <laughs> I haven't actually applied for a job with Woolworths. Yes, that's a bit of an in-joke for people who have watched previous episodes. Vintage Heineken, I wonder how old that is. Those tins, I think this is what they looked like when I was a teenager, which would make these from the 70s. There must be a best before date. Nine and two thirds imperial fluid ounces, it says. It wouldn't say that anymore, would it? There must be disposed of properly. They've got the old ring pulls that pull off entirely. Young people will never have seen those. They were crap, by the way, before you ask. No, no indication of age, but too old to drink. I think we can safely say that. If you would like some ornamental cans of Heineken, which by now is probably the worst lager in the world, or was that Carlsberg? It was Carlsberg. Heineken refreshes the parts other beers cannot reach. Well, that one won't because it's very, very old. I wouldn't even open it, but if you would like it as an ornament, as an objet or a conversation piece, uh, please tell me why you would not like to drink that lager. That's an Amazon box and it appears to be unopened. Does that mean it's come to me directly from Amazon? Somebody has, somebody has bought it and put this as the delivery address. It is, it would appear to be a pie dish. There's, is there no message with that? No, there wouldn't be with there because, no. This is very odd. Well, it's not old, but it's fortuitous. It is an enamel pie dish, old school, but a lot of people say that this sort of dish, i.e. metal with a protective coating on, enamel, make the best pies. And the other day, not three days ago, I was learning to make pies with proper pastry made myself, chicken and mushroom or vegetables and cheese. And we made them in dishes exactly like this because the professional chef I was working with said, you want a metal pie dish that will make a better pie. So I don't have one at home. I do now. Sweden. Mm. I hope it's a really nice Arctic spec coat. Swedes are quite good at that sort of thing. You know when the security people pre-open these packages to check for bombs and things, when they do them back up again, they could just put a discreet little piece of sellotape on. They don't need to cover them with parcel tape. They don't need to make them even harder to open than they would have been in the first place, unless they're just very bitter about something. From Sweden, we have a letter. James, I heard in one of your videos that you love gin. This is a good start. I simply want you to try the world's best gin from the Kingdom of Sweden. Have fun, pet. Peter at azume.sweden. Really? A bottle of gin? Richard Hammond is going to go mad with jealousy and rage when he sees this. Heno. Heno. Old Tom Gin. It's, I didn't know Sweden made gin. Stuff you learn. I bet in Sweden it's very expensive. Although, no, actually, Sweden is where booze is reasonably priced because everybody from Norway goes over to Sweden to buy the drink and then smuggle it back home again. 43% handcrafted Scandinavian organic gin. This is artisan, this is craft gin. I'm sort of tempted to keep that, to be honest. I feel that was sent to me. I feel this is a personal gift. It just happens to have come through the Drive Tribe Stroke Food Tribe office. Does anybody feel it would be wrong of me to keep it? No. no, nobody in this room thinks it would be wrong and therefore it is right. Thank you, Sweden. Um, what was his name? I'm not, I'm not very good at this, am I? I need to take more care. Pet, that was his name. Pet, short for Peter. Holy crap, was that? Thank you for the gin, I will enjoy that. I will not give any of it to Richard Hammond because he's away anyway. <laughs> It's beer. Flavorly farmyard ales. Brew hive is back. There's a there's a bucolic sitting on a what is he sitting on? He's sitting on the 
No, it's the front roller of an ancient agricultural machine of some sort. Um, uh, addressed to me, love con flavorly black owl brewing red kite. Oh God, this sounds tremendous. What? Oh, look. Love corn, we're crunchy, we're delicious, sea salt, and bottles of beer. Now, okay, I kept the gin. Shall we give the beer away? I think we can give the beer away. That would be good, and it comes with a magazine, Flavorly uh, Brew Hive. It's sort of craft beer, I believe. Uh, it's posh, but there's a variety in here. There's uh, red kite, amber ale. There is gluten-free organic beer. There is blonde premium craft lager, all sorts of very, very nice looking things in there. 12 bottles in total. That, that'll keep you going for several hours. So write in and say, I'm desperate for a handcrafted drink because, and the best reason, wins it. France. No, Luxembourg, sorry. This is a long one. Ooh. Dear James May, lovely writing actually, very nice writing. I haven't written a letter in English for a while. I do apologize if my writing is sometimes clumsy. Not so far. We hope you received our presents in good condition and hope you will appreciate them. I doubt you can find these beers. Oh. Oh yes, it's more beer in the UK. I'd like to tell you how much you, Jeremy and Richard, have made us laugh since we discovered the three of you. If you've seen your first episode of Top Gear, Top Gear, the current one, three years ago, we weren't into cars until then. Thank you for all you've been doing all these years, and so it goes on. The offensive jokes, the politically incorrect, and the provocative humor are becoming scarce these days. And so it goes on, that's very nice. And that is from, in tiny writing, Alexandra and Robin. Thank you. Beer. Oh, there's more, there's more. See, once again, I feel, I feel these are a personal gift. They have been sent specifically to me. There's a picture of a truly terrible old car. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Has there been some sort of log jam in the post around here? You went on holiday. Oh yes, I was on holiday. Well, I didn't, yeah, all right. Beer, beer, we want more beer. Everybody's cheering. You know how it goes. Trappist beer. That's going to be murderous, isn't it? Yes, alcohol, 9.2% by volume. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll keep one. Oh, I think there are three different ones. I'll leave these in the wrappers, save someone having to wrap them up again. But that's another dangerous European beer in there. And yes, another one, this is a brown beer of some sort in a small stubby bottle. Those two are up for grabs. Tell me why you want to knock yourself out on a relatively small amount of beer, whilst I do myself a mischief with that one. That seems like a deal, fair enough. Fine, ow! Finally, Dr. James May's mail time. Drive tribe, etc., etc. This again has come from England. EX39, I think that's, that's in the West Country. Maybe it's more beer. Don't worry, it's not another duck, quack. Hi James, here, beer, here from David Danieli. P.S. Always said to myself, I would buy you a beer if we ever met in a pub. Thanks for years of inspiration. Cheers. Quite nice beer. I think you'll agree. Let's find out. More beer. I, mean, oh, I do like this. Remember that packaging is enough to make you give up drinking because Robinson's barley water is easier to get into than this. The National Ale of Wales, Double Dragon. I think I may have had this before, actually, and I think it is pretty good. I'll keep one. You write to me in Welsh and tell me why you should have the other one. Thank you very much for watching. That's the end of Mail Time Stroke Special Edition Food Tribe. Like, subscribe, comment. And um, see you next time.